Here's another computer science challenge called combinations of a string and it very much resembles the one that was called permutations of a string. Uh, that one we've seen in an earlier video and I really recommend that you look at this one first because the strategy we're going to adopt to solve this problem will be very much similar to that one. So the challenge is as follows. You're supposed to write a method in Java that prints out all the combinations of the characters in a given string. And the combinations are basically the, the different selections that you, that you can make out of the characters in a string. So the different groupings or selections. And we'll see some examples. So the input to your method will be a string object. And the output will have to be a display of all the possible selections or combinations of the characters in the string. And here are some examples. This is a very simple example just to illustrate what exactly we're doing. So suppose the string was 1, 2 what are the possible selections or groupings that we could make out of these two characters well I could for example select only this character and that would be my first one right here I could decide to select only the second character that would be this one or I could decide to select both of them and that would be this one so these are the three different selections or combinations of the following string so keep in mind that position does not matter and the permutations position mattered and a, and a neat way to memorize that is to just remember that P here could stand for position matters just keep that in mind and here we're talking about combinations so the order does not matter so 2 and 1 is the same thing as 1 and 2 it's just a selection that I've made I've selected 2 and 1 and whether I order them as follows or as 1 and 2 does not make a difference so they are the same thing um, this is a, an example which has three characters and these are the possible selections or combinations. I can select only one character, A or B or C. I could select two characters and it, these would be A, B, A, C or B, C. Or I can select all three. And when you're going to display the characters or the, the combinations, when your function is going to be displaying these combinations, uh, ordering and formatting does not really matter so whether you display this one first or that one first really doesn't matter as long as you get them all and you display them uh, you could display them on different lines if you wish to and finally this is another example which serves to show that each character is treated as a distinct character so here despite the fact that we have two similar characters A and A we still have the same thing as what we had here so first you can select this A which is a distinct character from that A right here which I can select here and then finally I could select both at once just like we had for this example and this will be the method signature for the method that you will be writing so it's called combine doesn't have to return anything and it is passed a string called str